Uh, CTC Cleaning This Country, Timothy Lawrence. Good morning and welcome. Thank you very much. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I think you all know why I, I think you all know why I am here to go through a litter pollution problem that really is out of hand. I have proposed this speech, now I hope you can all listen carefully. Would you eat this plastic bag? Got one in my pocket here. <laughs> Plenty of marine life would think it is an appetizing jellyfish, one of its main food sources. Hi, my name is Tim Lawrence. I've been building in Christchurch now for 10 years, and over this time I have noticed that roadside rubbish is becoming worse, and that often it is not being picked up. Last December I started CTC, which is cleaning this country, via social media. My goal was to erase awareness of the increase in rubbish on our streets and in our communities, and to encourage people to join me in cleaning this country. Please excuse me, this is my first time doing anything like this. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for many years. Now is a great opportunity to get this started. The majority of people want to do something of value and are keen to get in and get their hands dirty by cleaning up their community. The environment doesn't have a voice. I want to be the voice of the environment. I'm here today to appeal to the council to support me as I grow awareness and find practical ways of improving this problem. The council has a great record of being envi environmentally focused and friendly. My ultimate goal would be to work with the council to remove the growing amount of abundant waste we are seeing right across our garden city. To do this, we can't sit in our offices. We need hands on the ground with motivated people. I propose to clean our city by increasing awareness of CTC and to mobilise volunteers to pick up rubbish where and when they see it and post photos, etc. We can increase awareness by community advertising and social media. I would like to work with community groups, volunteers and with a number of key, a couple of key people who would organise and lead these teams to clean up. As a pilot scheme and in the memory of our amazing Anzacs, I would love to propose a working bee day to clean up Anzac Ave and along Dyers Road. This area is practically covered in rubbish by advertising on community radio and inviting the citizens of Christchurch to join me in cleaning up this area. We would see a huge improvement in reduction in waste that is currently sitting on the roadside. I would need support from the council with advertising and health and safety by providing road cones, high-vis vests and road safety management. <coughs> Quoting the Chief of Roading regarding roadside rubbish, it will not even be picked up unless a complaint is laid. That's not going to clean Christchurch and keep our reputation as the garden city. We need to make, we need to make tra picking up trash important. As we all know, <coughs> the environmental impact that rubbish has when it gets into our waterways. Anzac Ave and Dyers Road are a great place to start as it's right next to a waterway. What would we do with the rubbish after it is collected is hand sorted, making sure, that we res making sure everything that can be recycled is recycled resulting in minimal landfall. My future dream would be to take plastic rubbish and turn it into building blocks. This is currently being trialled in Dunedin. We would measure our success by the community involvement, awareness of the issue, by how much rubbish we collect and get sorted, and finally, by how much better our garden city looks to not just us that live here, but by the thousands of visitors who come to our city annually. Possible future plans are after I show results. It's the awareness that we must pick up after ourselves and pick up what we see. Finally, wouldn't it be great if cleaning this country could gain funding if we show good result and build awareness? I would like the council to provide full support and permanent funding. In summation, I am passionate about cleaning our city and improving our environmental impact. I hope you all seriously consider my proposal and request for support. I would like to leave you with this quote from Taurus. New Zealand, beautiful scenery, but isn't it bitter that all we can see is the sight of the litter? Thank you. Thank That's you. my speech. I have a few more things here to say. Please, after any question. feel free. You have time. <laughs> yep. Well, please excuse me today. This is my first time. It was the first one. You're doing great. I'm overwhelmed to be here today. Thank you all 
for the opportunity to put forward my proposition. Everywhere you look around you, rubbish is everywhere. We live in the garden city, look into the gardens, and what do you see? Plastic, bottles, you name it, it's everywhere. This is New Zealand, we need to do something to keep it clean. They call New Zealand one of the cleanest, if not the cleanest country in the world. Look around you, is it really? It's not just the roads needing clean, it's the rivers, beaches, parks and walking tracks. Litter is everywhere. I would like to say so much more about our litter problem, it makes me so angry about the situation. I hope you can understand how bad it actually is. Thank you all for listening, but please do me this one thing after today. Look around you on the roads. You will surely see what I'm talking about. It's a very big problem. Mm. Keep your eye on the time because time is ticking and no one is cleaning this country. I don't need pictures to prove it. Just this morning I see a city care truck down Redcliffe Road. Rubbish all around him and none of it gets picked up. Did I work this morning? I hate to have, think how much city gear get to clean this city. Mm. I spend a lot of my time cleaning up building sites. They are the last of my worries. This whole city, this whole country, needs more, better, constant care to keep on top of our pollution. Thank you very much. Look, that, it's absolutely a theme of the LTP. That's why I raised it. You know, are we are we really committed to the to the garden city? You know, who we are. And you've really challenged us to think about that. And I'm just thinking last year, um, just before I went to the Keep Christchurch Beautiful Awards, which must have been about this time last year because that's on again next week. Um, exactly that. I felt like, right, I'm, I'm going to do what you just did. And I went for my walk around Travis Wetlands and I took my rubbish bag with me. And the, the, the and and on the way, the stand, eh? on the way back. Get? On the way back, I picked up rubbish down Travis Road, and I'm, I, I actually ran out of room in my one shopping bag, bag that I took with me. Between every power pole. And fortunately, Here somebody had thrown a plastic bag out of their car window as well, and so I filled that up as well. And it was two full, completely chocker rubbish bags just on a Sunday so you know um, over an hour. You know what, how bad it is out there then, don't you? Yeah, I do, I do. Um, Dion, uh, Glenn, Sarah. Um, I, I know this because I've got about 27 mothers now, so um, you know tomorrow's Mother's Day, uh, but today there's the mother of all cleanups. Uh, are you aware of it? On top of that, just the other day, it was a week back, last Monday, I was looking at my diary on the Monday, and it was called what, May Day. That was getting me very concerned, but May Day. Are you... Are you <laughs> Warning, Gosh, that, warning. That, that's, that's bad for an ex-military person. That was a big um, bad. <laughs> um, but are you aware of the mother of all cleanups? That, that's on today. So oh, there's yeah. community groups right now. So, I mean, I'll, most of us would have loved to have been there helping, you know, the, our communities cleaning up the waterways, all sorts of all over the city. Um, I so that's heard a, what you're talking about. I need to write this yeah, yeah, so it's the mother of all cleanups. So that, that happens. Yeah, yeah, so that happens. So, so while you're talking about it, with us, um, you know, there's lots of people out there. So yeah. we need to connect you with sorry, those people. There was the advertise. Oh, there's, there's yeah, all it's sorts a Facebook. of community groups on the Facebook. The thing is, it's, it's actually worthwhile to connect people yes. like you with other groups that are doing And that's doing where I was about well. to say, are you aware of Keep Christchurch Beautiful, Keep New Zealand Beautiful? So I think I think we need to yeah. connect you with um, probably Alex. So we're going to we're going to connect you up with some people. Yeah. So I'll, I'll if he wants to go and help now. <laughs> yes, I know, but it would be good to have some connections. I wouldn't go out wearing a suit like that. Right. So, um, <laughs> Glenn. So I don't usually dress like this. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much um, for that, Timothy. It's the third year of this uh, Mother of All cleanup. So, it's both the river corridors, um, or Pawo or Hethkit, uh, Avon or Takaro. So, but I think what you're saying is this needs, it's an intentionality about it, it's a regular... Yeah, I drive around a lot for my job, and rubbish is everywhere, not getting picked up. Right. Simple as that. Yeah. Not yeah. just around Christchurch, I drive, I'm working out around North Canterbury at the moment a lot, going up to Kaikoura, Clarence, I've been mm. working inland from Ward at the moment. Yeah, the whole... doing earthquake repairs, of course. The whole local government sector's pushing hard back on plastic bags, drinking straws, etc. Yeah, so it's, it's all over the news lately. Yeah. 
It's yep. not just yep. you, you guys are only worried. You guys are only worried about Christchurch City, aren't you? It's not no, 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 no. It's we 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 cover the whole of we cover the whole of the Banks Peninsula. So we're just as committed in terms of the rural environment as we are to the urban environment. Back out north, you stop yeah. at the Waimate Bridge. Don't you? Sarah and then Vicky. Uh, Vicky. Yeah. Um, just, I'm not sure if you're aware yeah. that there are a lot of local cleanups as well. So we've had them in Rickerton, for example, from a church in Shirley, and then City Care has come and organised to take all the rubbish away for free. Um, it, we've organised them through the community board. I don't know if you know the local community board chair, but I think we could introduce you to her as well. Yeah, yep. thank for you the very much. for the Anzac Ave project that you want to do. Yeah. Um, uh, Yanni, last question. Uh, I mean, yeah, just quickly. Um, but we are also, as a council, pursuing um, the the dealing with waste at source through Local Government New Zealand. So we've put forward a number of remits to try and recognise that it's not just the picking up that's important, but also actually preventing it from being there in the first place. So we are ch challenging that on a national level. They go on about teaching awareness. Yeah. yeah. So, but thank you for the, what you're doing and thank you for the submission. It was really good. Right. Well, I've just um, we, we're going to wind up for lunch now, but um, I just um, I, I've just had it confirmed from the deputy mayor that the metro sector is backing all our remits. So that's that means we don't have to go any further. The metro sector will lodge them. So that's great. Thank you. All right. Uh, so we're now adjourned until 12:30, um, and if people could be here. Ready